Langley Priory, one of Eastbourne's best-kept heritage secrets, is to be transformed into a training and eco-hub. Well, firstly, it, there's a real heritage project here. This is the oldest building in Eastbourne. As you can see, it's quite dilapidated at the moment, but a great opportunity for the community to make a difference. And when I say the community, I mean the whole community. So the, what the project is offering is an opportunity to invest, to help through that investment to bring people who have been out of work for a long time back into work and to teach them a trade. To do this up as a niche uh, venue for uh, weddings, an opportunity to use the chapel for those wedding ceremonies, the hall above for the wedding breakfast and for the wedding party to have a niche venue uh, for a, a wedding weekend. A great opportunity. Langley Priory is a, a tremendously important heritage asset for Eastbourne. Um, and it needs restoration and preserving and making available to the local community. This is going to be a community project and we need people to come and get themselves involved. Lots of them already have. They've come and actually helped clear the ground. Every bit of ground that's cleared discloses another little secret and it's just so interesting as we start to put the history of this place together. Historic Langley Priory Limited, who already have the backing of the Borough Council, want to enlist the skills of tradespeople, volunteers and investors from the town and its surrounds in what they describe as a unique investment opportunity. What we need is to, is to enlist the skills of the people that we will come to the building, uh, builders and a lot of volunteers have come to us and said, look, we'd like to help. Um, we, we will also need uh, money to rebuild because the roof needs redoing, for example, that could be £400,000, though the building is sound. So we're hoping to raise £1.4 million for the whole renovation, which will take two, up to two years. It's an investment in people. It's an investment in the future of Eastbourne. Um, it's, in, it's an investment in the local environment. So it's an investment every, in everything that's good about this area. So it can't fail. It's been said to me, because quite a number of people have read the prospectus, it's actually a unique investment because what we're doing is bringing together uh, the needs of the community. There are people who live around here and, and, and work around here, uh, would like to work here, the youngsters uh, uh, would like to come and work here. The parents know the building very well. Uh, it's certainly got an ethical base to it. Uh, we believe the ethos is a modern ethos of, of, of community involvement, community engagement. Uh, and we, as I say, we're working very close with Eastbourne Warren Council who are supporting the whole project uh, from the point of view of Eastbourne's uh, ability to generate um, uh, employment and uh, uh, interest for tourists. Councillor Jill Mattock, the Mayor of Eastbourne, was at a recent open day to show her ongoing support for the Priory Rejuvenation. Well, it's something for the community, isn't it? And it's going to involve loads of different groups of people. It's going to end up being an eco-hotel run by apprentices. Um, I don't think there can be anything better to invest your money in. I'm actually going to invest some of my money in it because I believe in putting your money where your mouth is. So shares are available from £50 each, payable in instalments. You don't have to find the, the whole 50 quid in one go. And without people's involvement, this project isn't going to work, and it absolutely has to. It's the jewel in Eastbourne's crown. In terms of investment, uh, money is clearly going to be vital. Um, money is very tight for a lot of people, but I think if anybody can be involved in any way, and certainly in, if we are both investing in the future of young folk, if they want to get involved in learning real skills and things that they can then take forward and an interest that they can take forward um, into their future and to future generations, then that in itself is rem remarkably valuable. For this to really get off the ground, and, and look at this absolutely astonishing building, for it to really get off the ground, the whole project, I think it's going to be a, a classic example of, of the Eastbourne community looking at it, exploring, and actually then making a decision that they want to get involved, that they want to chip in to bring this building not so much just into the 21st century because it's such a fantastic old building, but to, to ensure that it thrives and grows for another you know two or three hundred years it's a fantastic project i'm really impressed